All right, guys, this is uh, Garfield Kart. It's very similar to Mario Kart. You're gonna find out how similar. Somebody took a look at Mario Kart and was like, hey, uh, kids like that, I guess. Uh, let, you know, kids like Garfield. Let's stick them together and here you go. It's, it's Garfield Kart. All right, so who, who are you gonna pick? I'm picking Garfield, I guess. Okay, you be Garfield and I guess uh, I'll be John Arbuckle. Something about John Arbuckle is just funny. Like legitimately he, he, funny. He's a really funny character and he was at his funniest in the um, the Garfield minus Garfield comics. Yeah, where they would, right, they yeah. would remove- it's, it's only him. Yeah, hang on a second, I'm trying to find the gas. So it's the right All trigger. Right. Okay, so um, yeah, essentially it's this game is pretty much, uh, if you haven't seen it before, it's just Mario Kart. Um, you have items that are similar to Mario Kart like things that are like uh, a mushroom like i just used i guess it was perfume so that's kind of like using a mushroom in mario kart i guess and then there's there's lasagna and you'll have items to throw that are like shells and things like that so pretty much everything in this game has its equivalent to the real mario kart um so yeah it's it's a it's a mario kart clone i guess is what you could call it yeah um, you know i don't like holding the trigger button i'm gonna say right now like I just feel like extra strain on my finger when just pushing B. Like in Mario Kart, you just hold down B, and, and it's well. You know what, James? It's not gonna be. Uh, it's not gonna be as good as Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is even the steering is like a little weird. Like it, it's a shame that we played Mario Kart first because now I'm just realizing how crappy this is. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, for something that's you're not, it's not going to be as good as Mario Kart. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't expect like it's it. not bad. It's not bad, but it's it's just it's not as good as Mario Kart. Yeah. It, of course not. I mean, it, it shouldn't yeah. be. If it if it was as good or better than Mario Kart, that would be a fucking problem. It would be a problem. Yeah, it would be a problem because Nintendo spends a bazillion dollars trying to make Mario Kart. This is like a fucking clone, like. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so I get it. It would be a problem because it would mean Nintendo didn't do a good enough job. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It, it better not be as good as Mario Kart. It better not be as good as Mario Kart, or else you got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can go to Egypt. Let's try that one. Sure. Yeah. Why would? Why the hell would Garfield be in Egypt? He, he can go. He can go anywhere. He's Garfield. He yeah. does what he wants. He's a crazy cat. <laughs> when I was in school, you remember going to the library in school mm -hmm. and we could like order books and all that. I that's where I my I think my first exposure to Garfield was in, when I was in elementary school. I oh. ordered a bunch of books from the library and they were Garfield books. Um and they were to own too. Like like you get money from your parents and then you'd have to wait like whatever a couple weeks or whatever. Then you'd have library class again. And then the books would come in, and there you go. And every everybody would order something. I think that was the first thing I ordered because I saw it oh, on the list. I was like, ooh, ooh, they have Garfield, so I, I got Garfield. Yeah, okay. Well, I remember just um, the the newspapers. Uh, that that's where I I don't know if that's where I learned about. It, it was probably from the the Garfield and Friends show. I don't remember. Or but, I guess I guess I should but, re rephrase what I just said. Of of course, the newspaper is the first place where I saw Garfield. But I yeah. think the first time I really got into Garfield was when I got those books and I read collections of the books. Yeah, that, that's, well, that's really something I bet. Oh, I bet a lot of people uh, watching don't uh, don't really remember is the newspaper. Um, <laughs> is that? You know, every day you'd have all the uh, the comic strips in there, and especially Sunday was the best because you had like, you know, more of them. I used to cut the Garfield strip out of the newspaper every day and collected them in a book. You know, like those like Mead notebooks. Yes. Yeah, I would just like glue them with paste, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We mentioned the newspaper. I mentioned paste. So they don't make. I, I don't think they all... make paste anymore. Yeah, I think we had a conversation once about that. Nobody but, cares um, about my, my thoughts on pace, so we can move on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I used to collect them all in the, in those books until I realized that they were already doing that anyway. Shit, I just fell. So you could buy those Garfield, you know, books, and they would they would have tons of them. Like, I, I started uh, buying those. Yeah. And it would just be like a collection of all the, the Garfields. I remember they were like these rectangle-shaped yep. books. And they'd... I had up to like number twenty three or something. Yeah. And it would just collect all the different comics. And um 
And then eventually, you know, I just kind of like fell out of it, like I guess most people did, because like any comic series, you know, it's been going on since the 70s. Yeah. How is it going to keep, get, how many times can Garfield kick Odie off the table? A lot. Or something? He's, yeah, st so he's still doing like, it. He's still doing it to yeah. this day. So I think like everything, it gets stale after a while. Sure. But the funny thing is that Garfield has had this weird sort of resurgence, but in, in an ironic way, where... There's there's the Garfield minus comic Garfield minus Garfield, which is where they just take out Garfield out of the comics and it's just John talking to himself and it's hilarious. So so there's that. But then have you seen Lasagna Cat? So Lasagna Cat is this YouTube channel that just posts this completely bizarre stuff about Garfield. And it is so funny. The, the one I think I saw was was like they were they kept opening the door up over and over. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, so that that's another one. Um, so 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 the the one the one I mentioned real quick is just uh, it's this guy who analyzes this the stupidest Garfield strip where it's just um, John is asking like, oh, where where's my pipe? And then Garfield has the pipe, and that's the punchline. Right. And he analyzes it like trying to say like that it's brilliant and he goes into like all this detail and it's really funny and what's so weird is that they never because the video is like an hour long you're thinking okay this is just gonna like there's no way you can keep this joke up for that long right and they do the one you mentioned uh it's called the sex survey one which i know sounds really weird it is but <laughs> have you seen the ending of that one no, what oh god, no. So it's like okay, it's that's where you need to see it. It's like a four hour video, so of course you're not gonna sit through the whole thing. Right. But you you gotta watch the end of that one. It's like uh, like uh like the last like maybe the last thirty minutes of it or something. Okay. And, and and you don't have to watch all of it, just skip skip around. But the end is where it gets really weird. <laughs> um like the guy leaves his house and then it gets really dark and he goes on i think he goes on like a train or something and and there's like this weird like dead cat that's like talking to him and <laughs> but the thing is the last shot is the most disturbing thing i've ever seen it is a it's like a a realistic looking dead baby in a toilet and oh, no. it's like and it looks really realistic and then it like comes alive at the last second <laughs> and it's so fucking scary. Um, like, I just can't believe, like, where the video starts and, like, where it ends up. Like, you gotta see the end of it. I'm doing really bad at this, by the way. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I was too busy trying to remember that that creepy ending of that. Because uh, Justin told me the same thing. He told me about that one. But then I found out about the end because I was actually watching like a highlight thing that somebody else put together. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute. Like you, you totally missed like the craziest part in the whole video and no wonder why, because it's four hours long, but, but you got to see the ending of it. Okay. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> yeah. So I, I need to, even me, I need to see more of that lasagna cat stuff. Cause it is so fucking crazy. Do you remember the Garfield Halloween special? Yeah. I, I had the comic of it. Um, and then they did the, the animated, like, special, too. I remember that being pretty fucking weird. Yeah, it was a little scary, yeah, because he, he, um, he dresses up as a pirate, and then they, they end up, like, finding a, this, uh, there's, like, a treasure, but there's, like, an old man who tells them the story of, like, the ghost pirates are going to come back to reclaim their treasure, and, uh, he brings Odie to so he can get twice as much candy, and he basically wants to take all of Odie's candy. Now, do you consider that like a ho like a holiday a Halloween like classic the way like the Great Pumpkin is, or not really? N not really. I mean, it's it's still pretty good. Like if you're looking for nostalgic um, animated TV specials that that uh, were Halloween, then yeah. But um, but you know, Great Pumpkin is like the that's the major classic right there. Right. Um, and then of course there's, uh, oh, you know what, we just did a, we, we did a Monster Madness episode on it last year, uh, with, with Lobo, um, where we just talked about all kinds of ho ho Halloween TV specials. We, we mentioned a bunch of them, I'm trying to think of what, what the others were. A lot of them were the sitcoms, you know, like there's the Home Improvement, oh, the Roseanne, of course. Yeah, there's a bunch, there's one I think we forgot to mention was the last Halloween 
which was this one-off thing about aliens who run out of candy and they come to Earth to get Earth's candy. But it was an, like an early CG, um, you know, effects. Like the aliens were all CG. So, um, so you were saying before, like, you know, with uh, Garfield kicking Odie off the table, it can kind of get yeah. like a little stale and, and all that. Um, do, do you have any like newspaper comics that you remember not really liking too much? That I remember not like, I can't remember because, uh, you know, like, like I'm, I'm obviously not going to remember the ones I didn't like as much. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to remember the ones I did. The ones that I liked the most were the ones where it, it, uh, it, it was something that was funny if you're a cat owner. Right. So if you know the way cats behave, it was like, uh, it was something that made a lot of sense where it's like, that's something that cats do. Right. Um, like eating lasagna. It, like eating lasagna, yeah. <laughs> no, like not actually the the lasagna thing. I never liked. I never really like. I get it. Like Garfield, he's like a he's a fat like, cat. He's a glutton. He's a glutton. Yeah, he likes to eat a lot. Like that's Garfield's thing. And y yeah, but I like the things where it was like Garfield. There's like a, a strip I remember where Garfield was planning how he's gonna jump up to uh, like like up to get the cookie jar or something right and he plans it out the exact same way cats do like you know when a cat thinks how am i going to get up there yeah and you can see what's going through the cat's brain right that they're like like i'm going to jump on the the chair then i'm going to jump onto the table and then i'm going to jump onto the bookshelf you know and then there's like the one where garfield is like uh he's outside and john's op john opens the door to let him in but he can't decide if he wants to go in or out. So John's standing there with the door open and Garfield just keeps changing his mind. It's like that that's what cats do. Yeah. He's Garfield Garfield is like the symbol of everybody's cat who's ever owned a cat. Well, they had the equivalence with that. Then there then there was Marmaduke, who was the same well, thing. Marmaduke for... Marmaduke was was awful. Like they made it so as boring as it could be. That that We're, that comic strip is the <laughs> it's like the worst comic strip. Yeah, well, well, the thing is, what's so funny is that people t tend to think now that Garfield is a bad comic, and sure, it had bad ones like anything. But you want a bad comic? That's Marmaduke. Um, yeah, I also I wasn't really a big fan of um, like Family Circus, and I, I really didn't like For Better or For Worse very much. Those are those are some of the other ones I, I didn't really like, but. Um, uh, I have a lot of, you know, uh, comics, you know, other than that that I liked. I liked, you know, I don't know if you ever read, like, um, with The Simpsons, like li like Life in Hell with Matt Groening. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think yeah. my newspaper had that one, though. Because you know how it sometimes it depended on, like, what paper you Only had? certain circulations, I think, had it. Yeah. How about Liz? Is, that's that's his girlfriend. Liz was the, the, um, the veterinarian. And John um, liked her, but she didn't like him, I think, right? Yeah, he would, yeah, like, the, the gag was that he would keep taking Garfield to the vet for no reason other than to, <laughs> to see the vet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll that I'll that was, like, the, yeah, that was the joke all the time. I think eventually, as the comics went on, like, like way after the fact, like, after I, after I was reading them, he ends up marrying Liz. Right. So they eventually, like, it seems like every series has to go that way. Like, um... Steve Urkel in Family Matters um, with uh, Laura. Yeah. Um, the whole thing is that she wants nothing to do with him. Yeah. But by the time they get to like season, what was it, seven or what was the last one? Seven or did they? I forget how many. It was either seven or like I'm going to say like nine maybe. But the, la the last season of Family Matters, like he ends up like marrying her. I think they don't actually get married. Well, I think he ends like up in space, doesn't he? Yeah, he ends up in space, but then, like, <laughs> the next season was going to be, like, him marrying her. But they already set it up like that. They already set it up like that's what's going to happen. But right before they get married, he has to go on that that mission in space. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it, it just, you know, it it basically is, like, the, the arc is that they usually end up... I'm, like, completely... That... I get completely stuck on the fucking wall there. Oh, my oh, God, now okay. I'm in eighth. Anyway, I sorry. I mean, really, I think... It was Jim Davis kind of trying to do something unexpected because everybody kept saying that it was like the same old thing, which it was. So, but I think it is a shame, though, I have to say, is that 
uh, it seems like people only remember Garfield now as like a bad comic when it has a lot of great, uh, you know, comic strips. But the thing is, people don't choose to remember the good ones. They're only filtering it out to the bad comics. Like, like yeah, that one with Garfield with the pipe makes a really funny YouTube video. But not all the Garfield comics were like that. They had good ones too. So I think it's really yeah, a shame. That, that's that's human nature. That that's what people do. They people want to shit on things instead of looking at looking at the good stuff because it, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's more fun. I, it's more fun to shit on the bad stuff than it is to talk about the good stuff. Yeah, and I will say I do know a thing about that too. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. So I mean, which is, it, it yeah, is, what it is. Do you remember the far side? What, uh, the nerd does. Just to clarify, like the nerd definitely like filters out to like look at the bad most of the time. So that is, you know, so far side. Yeah, I, I do remember far side. Yeah, um, that was another. It was another one. one. Yeah, um, Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, I like. There's. I mean, there's a lot of comic strips I liked. I mean, I like like the Dick Tracy comic and like the fucking Floyd Gottfordson Mickey Mouse comics and all kinds of stuff like that. Then there's other comics that I like just for the art of it, like the Flash Gordon comic. I don't really care about the stories quite that much, but the art is beautiful. The Little Nemo comics are, are beautiful to look at. But as far as like newspaper comics that we grew up with, I mean, the big one was Peanuts, really. I guess like Charlie Brown. Um, and, and, yeah. Gar and Garfield. Yeah, I mean, Garfield was, uh, you know, Peanuts was around, you know, much longer yeah. than Garfield. Um, so Peanuts is, is, that's like the gold standard. Like, I can't, I don't think any, I can't think of anything that tops uh, Peanuts. By the way, I have not really been paying much attention to the game. I'm, I'm just too busy talking about... Com I like this better. I like talking about old comics. So. <laughs> I thought this would be a good excuse to, t to talk about the comics. The game itself is essentially just not as good as Mario Kart. That's all I really have to say about the game. <laughs> but yeah, it's not, it's not terrible, though. It's fine. Like, it's fine. So, yeah, anyway, main takeaways is, like... Yeah, I, I've always loved Garfield, um... I mean, too much of anything is bad, so of course it got stale, but I think it's really a shame that uh, people only remember the bad Garfield comic strips and nobody wants to remember the good. It's kind of like when people make fun of the, the 66 Batman, yeah. and every time they ever show a clip, it's always like the clip of Batman dancing or something. Yeah, or, or the clip it, of him with like the pink the pink like bat suit on just to make it look like absolutely yeah. like you know ridiculous, which, which it was though, but that's another subject. Yeah, it's like, it, it, you know, if you look back at the show, it's like, wow, it was actually a really good show. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like sometimes people don't give enough credit for things. They kind of just filter it out to make it into, like, a meme or something they can make fun of. Yeah. So I think Garfield is a lot better than people give it credit for. That's the bottom line. Yeah.